We're experiencing high temperatures and increased demand for water. However, we are also experiencing very low rainfall. Rainfall, I'm informed, is very difficult to predict, at least in the short term. We might predict it in, in the long term, and it might not happen quite a, at the time that we predict it. But what is compiled in our situation right now, uh, the indications that our rainfall will become harder to predict. Uh, South Africa, like many other parts of the globe, is seeing a very dry season getting longer, more intense, and more frequent. Climate change is a reality, and it is affecting South Africa in this way. I'm informed by my advisors that uh, the earliest we can expect rain at the, at the rate at which we would want to have rain is December. In our country's economic heartland here in Red, in Red Water has begun to impose water restrictions to metro municipalities as a cautionary measure. It's important that I insist there is no need to panic, but there is need to be prudent in the way that we use water. Gauteng is not alone. There are other provinces like the Eastern Cape in particular and Limpopo which include large municipalities and numerous smaller towns that have various levels of water restrictions in place and in some cases receive only intermittent supplies. The situation is very serious. However, it is not one that calls for panic. It is under control. We're experiencing what is called a water stress. We face harsh realities right now we have to immediately begin to disaster-proof South Africa and South Africa's security of water. That is vital. We appeal to all our people, please ensure that we use our water wisely so that we can sustain the supply that we have. 